Blackpool, it'd be good to get back to uh, matters on the field, I guess. Very much so, yeah. Um, it's a difficult game. Yeah, you know, is. we have to be very careful with this one and not get carried away. Uh, Blackpool, they're not too far away. You know, they haven't had the best of times, obviously, but they've got a good manager in there who will stabilise them and get them playing. It's, I think it's a good appointment, and I'm pleased for Lee. I thought, I didn't think he deserved a sack at Birmingham. Haven't done what he done last year with him. Mm -hmm. And you know the environment in terms of how to get the best out of teams at that end of the table. Yeah, and, and the possibility, I guess, of a, I know he wasn't here whilst you were here, but uh, the possibility of Chris Eagles playing against Bolton at some stage. I would doubt that very much, yeah. you know, because. I don't, well, he may he may or may not, but I, I can't imagine how fit he would be, Chris. After he's mm. you know he's not kicked the competitive ball since since last season. Yeah. It, uh, if he if he plays, he plays. You know, we we'll just get on with doing what we're doing. Has it been? I'm just going back to the Wigan game, and and it, I mean the place was rocking, and it hasn't, it hasn't been like that for some time, quite frankly, Neil. You know, has it been a, a, a frustrating time? You know, I guess when you're doing well in particular, and, and the players as well, you just want to play again, don't you, as soon as possible. Yeah, but then sometimes it's uh, good to have a a wee break, you know, and uh, the players have come in refreshed. Mm. I think they're hungry to play again now, so that's obviously a good sign. But yeah, you know, momentum is very important, and we had the momentum going into the break. But whether we can pick it up again, I don't know. But I'm liking what I'm seeing, you know. I'm liking the the body language, and I'm liking the the confidence the players are chaining and playing with. So we'll see how we go tomorrow. But regardless of what happens, it won't be a blow either way. We will. I've got, you know, great faith in this squad now. The only thing is losing Mark is a big blow. You know, personally for his point of view, and you know, professionally from the club point of view. After a week's break, I suppose you mentioned the players must be coming in bouncing after that win at Wavell weekend. Yeah, but it's a long time ago now. You know, it feels like a long time ago anyway. So all our focus now is just on Blackpool. But yeah, I mean, it can all change again very, very quickly in terms of. You know the good feeling and, and and form and that type of thing, but we're happy with what we're seeing. You know, we think that they're they're working hard to improve. We need to improve. We need to get better. But um, everything we've asked them, they've done. So I'm very happy with that. Is it a bit of a beware the wounded animal when playing playing Blackpool at the moment? I think so. Yeah, yeah I think they're dangerous. I mean, the big Cardiff at Bloomfield Road, so they're capable of beating anyone. I think, and I don't think they're far. I know they're a little bit adrift at the minute, but I don't think they'll get caught adrift completely. Um, and it, again, they could be one of them teams to put a run together. Lee and and, and Tom will know the championship very well. Lee will know what he wants to, and the type of player he wants to bring in, and the type of style that he'll want to play in at the minute. They're scratching a wee bit, but um, if anyone can get them out of it, it's Lee Clark. Mm. Yeah, obviously, apart from Mark, any other problems? They may come back. Oh, everyone come back. From internationals, all right. No, we're fine. You know, um, you know, Mark Tierney had a ankle operation, um, so I think that went okay. He's still going to be long term, obviously. In terms of uh, other injuries, uh, Adam Bogdan um, was way hungry, so he did a lot of training. Didn't play, but could have played. So he's back training with us now, which is great to see. So. You know, the squad's looking, well, it was looking very healthy until we got the news this morning. Yeah, I, I, based on how he played against Wigan, he, he kind of made that midfield tick along with Chungi on, uh, up against Wigan. I mean, is that a huge blow to the way he's going to play to going forward this season? Yeah, we may have to rethink things a little bit, because he's a class player, Mark. Yeah. And you can't have enough of them at your football club. Um, I've not seen him yet since we got the news, so I'll have a good chat with him this morning. It's not the end of the world. You know, it's not the end of a season either, but it's just a blow from because he was looking really good and he had worked very, very hard to get into that position. Um, and I know it's his knee, and I know people say, "Oh, well, he's got this problem and that problem," but it may just be one of them things that needs repaired. And hopefully, after that, we can give him a clean bill of health and get him going again.